Hi, welcome to my YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to thread an oversized barrel. But before I do that, I need you to go to CNC Warrior website and read up a section on muzzle threading. Um, you'll be needing these following tools. They are available at AliExpress, Amazon, and eBay, and of course CNC Warrior. You'll be needing a die, a die holder, a pilot. This is an anella cutter. What it does, it brings the outside diameter of the barrel to the appropriate size. Now what tools to buy will depends on the caliber and the thickness of the barrel. In my particular case, uh, my caliber is 7.62 by 39 Russian, which basically means I have two choices, uh, which, is, um, which is common to AK, which is the metric M14 by 1 left hand, and the, uh, the VZ58, which is M14 by 1 right hand, and also the Yugoslavian SKS. Now, since I have a lot of Visa 58 uh, muzzle devices, I decided to go with the Visa 58, which is M14 by one right hand. And on that website, it shows for the M14 by one right hand, uh, the minimum diameter should be 0 0.5431 of an inch, and the maximum is 0 0.5501. Uh, but when I use the caliper or a micrometer um, to measure the uh, Type 81 barrel, it turned out to be 0.569, which is 0 0.019 over. Now, according to the website, it says if it's up to 0 0.01 over, I could basically hand file it. But since it's 0 0.019, I decided to use a, a cutter. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to assemble these and then after that thread the barrel. Take the cutter, I should take the die and insert the pilot. Now be careful not to force it or you're going to damage the, the, the teeth like this. Now make sure that you insert this pilot deep enough. It shows four threads cutter on the die. And this looks like about right. Okay. And then you see there's a an indent on the die. Make sure it lines up with the screw. Also make sure that the, the print is facing outwards. Like so. Now to assemble the cutter, I have to take the pilot, insert it into the cutter, and then use two nuts that's provided. Now be careful when you're holding the, uh, the cutter itself, it's quite sharp. Okay, and now I need a wrench to tighten these two nuts against each other. Do not tighten the nut against the cutter because you need to have this free moving. Okay, but not too loose, but free moving. You need to have this free moving. This will be your guide when you're cutting the outer diameter of the barrel. And then insert this whole assembly into this um, this part where it goes into the drill. The set comes with an Allen wrench and then you tighten the set screw. Like so. Okay. So now where I'm all set to start um, reducing the uh, outer diameter of the barrel and then threading the, uh, the barrel, the muzzle. Okay, so I'll be back. I'm not fortunate enough to have a uh, workbench, so this is my setup uh, in my kitchen. It's uh, on my kitchen counter. Um, make sure the vise is uh, 
clamped down firmly and the rifle is in a ice cream bucket and it's on top of a stool to uh, take some weight off clamp it firmly uh, use aluminum or uh, copper um, I guess uh, these um, to protect the barrel from scratches and uh, make sure it's nice and vertical now on YouTube I've seen people um, uh, doing it horizontally but I prefer to do it vertic vertically uh, because it basically it uses the gravity and it's um, I believe it's a little more even now how far am I going to uh, reduce this uh, this barrel I'm gonna go as as much as three quarter of an inch down um, I have to be for the flash hider and brakes you have to be minimum half an inch so um, three quarters perfect because I also have to make room for the um, jam nut because um, I don't have it's not going to be butt up against the uh, uh, sight block so I'm going to be using um, uh, jam nut to uh, lock it in place so um, let's uh, start first uh, I need to put uh, lots of oil and that's what the ice cream buckets are for it's to uh, it's to uh, catch the oil and the shaving I'm just gonna put the uh, and you have to do it in a very slow speed um, the website recommends between two to three hundred RPM and the pilot fits in perfect and so I'm gonna raise it up a bit and get it going yeah pull it up uh, once in a while to, to, to clear the shavings and just to make sure everything is going good so that's what I'm gonna be doing um, use a cloth if I have one just, just remove the shavings like this and add some more uh, lube like that and make sure the bit is also clear of any shavings and it's uh, going pretty good I'm about one eighth of an inch deep so far once in a while and add more lubricant okay just uh, clear more shavings and see where am I yep I'm going pretty good looking pretty good so now I gotta go another five eighths of an inch and then I'm done I'm ready to um, to thread the barrel okay I'm almost at about half an inch I still got um, three another quarter of an inch to go and I have to point out that um, I should have uh, put um, some sort of a um, towel in the, below this because uh, the metal shaving is uh, spreading all over the place and uh, if it, if your significant other ever step on it um, yeah I guess you might be sleeping on the couch tonight so yeah be careful with the shavings Okay, let me measure. 
I am at okay exactly three quarter of an inch so I'm there so So let me get a caliper and uh, measure that. Actually, I already did, and it's uh, 0.547, which is within the, the range on the uh, chart. Uh, so next, um, I will be threading this. Okay, I'm ready to uh, thread the muzzle. Um, put lots of oil, and uh, make sure the pilot is inserted deep enough, about four or five threads. and put this in. Now I also marked one of the handles so I know how many turns I've taken. Press firmly both handles and turn gently. And then back off. You can hear actually the you can feel the resistance and you can even hear the shaving breaking off. Don't forget to put lots of lube and just do one eighth of an inch, uh, one eighth of a turn and then back off just to break the chip. You can actually hear the chip breaks. Don't try to force it. Okay, let's see what it looks like right now. Okay, let me clean up. Yeah, it looks pretty good. It's coming along good. I have about maybe three. And I'm gonna make sure that the uh, crown or muzzle doesn't touch this so I'm gonna back it up another couple of turns just to make sure it doesn't touch so here it goes again I'll put some oil and resume okay now that I've reached uh, four threads I can actually remove this pilot I'm just gonna remove this pilot don't need it And I'll put uh, lots of oil on the threads and resume. Now remember not to force it, just a little turn and back off like that sometimes it has to be even less than an eighth of a turn
Okay, looks like I've uh, reached right to the bottom. Looks pretty good. And um, let me uh, try out the, uh, the jam nut. Still not right to the bottom yet. Ah, okay, got it. Oh, well, yep, I think it's at the bottom now. Now I'm going to use the A1 uh, birdcage. Remember, the A1, A1 birdcage doesn't need to be uh, timed. pretty good. Let me see if everything looks good on the inside. Yep, there's still lots of room right there. So I'm going to um, take it out of the vise and show you what it looks like. I am done! And it turned out better than I thought. It looks fantastic. I think all military rifles should come with a muzzle device. Without it, it kind of looks bare. Now, I want to point out that I didn't reduce the uh, diameter. I left about 5 eighths of an inch, and the reason why is should I ever want to put the grenade launcher back, it won't flop around. Also, this diameter is the same as this diameter here, and that will also allow me in the future, should I want to move the front sight block forward but up against the muzzle device to increase sight radius. Another thing I want to point out is that whenever you're using this cutter and you're holding the drill handle, move the drill handle around so you're putting even pressure all over and not just one side. Um, after watching my videos, you're not confident uh, doing it yourself. That's fine. Just take it to a gunsmith. There's lots of competent gunsmiths out there that'll do it for you. So uh, thank you for joining me and please subscribe.